Hey everyone, today we'll be connecting an ESP8266 device to AWS IoT Core. In this video, I walk you through a simple and quick process using the Arduino IDE. You will learn how to make your sensor sense temperature and humidity data to our own MQTT broker. And if you are curious about the code, don't worry, I already uploaded to GitHub for you. Here is the plan. First, we'll create a device in AWS IoT Core and set up its security policy. Then, we'll graph the necessary certificates and set them up on our sensors. We'll also configure a device name, MQTT host, and Wi-Fi info. Finally, we'll copy the code into the Arduino IDE and upload it to our sensor. All right. So the first thing we are going to do is create a device in IoT Core. We are going to call it ESP8266 and then click on Next. And also choose the first option, click Next. And we are going to create a policy. So here in Create a Policy, uh, I will create a new policy called ESP8266 policy and then in the policy document so let's create a policy where any device can connect publish um, receive and also subscribe um, well later on you can create a more secure policy of course it's up to you and also here in json you can see the policy document Put, click in create. Now we are going to select the policy we create and create a thing. Then uh, it shows us the screen where we all download the certificates and keys. In this section, we are going to copy the code from GitHub. So here's the repository where you can also find the instructions. Uh, what you need to do is clone the repository to a folder and then open the Visual Studio Code and here you will see that there are two important files and one is the main file where you can see all the configurations and also the M file. Here we are going to copy the certificates that we generate in the previous section. So we'll start with the Amazon Trust Services Endpoint to load and copy into a new tab in Visual Studio Code. Copy the certificate and paste it. The next is the device certificate. Go to the page to load. Move the certificate to a new tab copy and paste it and the last one is the private key file also go to the page download move the certificate to a new tab and copy and paste it all right, now we have all the certificates we need. So the next step is uh, we need the MQTT broker host address and also the device name. So let's start with device name. You can find in the tab uh, things in IoT Core. Uh, in our case is ESP8266. Copy and paste it. And regarding to MQTT broker host address, you can find here in connect one device. And this is our MQTT broker host. Now the last thing we need to do is input the Wi-Fi credentials. So I input mine here. Mm. Uh, in your case, you should input your home Wi-Fi network.
All right, so in this section, we are gonna to copy our code to Arduino IDE. So copy and paste the main file. And also we will need a new tab called m.h and copy and paste our end file from Visual Studio Code. So here we are. So now click in upload button in Arduino ID. All right, so after uploading the code to our device, our device will be connecting to our Wi-Fi network, and then it will connect to AWS IoT Core using the credentials. And if everything goes well, it will send some random temperature and humidity values. So, well, right now we are connecting to AWS IoT and cool. We are sending humidity and temperature values. So to check this, we can go to the MQTT test client, subscribe to ESP8266 slash path. And here, here we can see the values that our device is sending. So we can also try to test how we can publish to a topic from AWS to our device. So go to publish to a topic and just put sub instead of pop and try to publish the message. Hello from AWS IoT. And we should see here just is working we're going to explain a bit about the code first of all if you encounter any issues with installing the board on the arduino ide you probably don't have the additional package for the esp8266 Below, I leave the link for the additional URL. So regarding the libraries, we are using the PubSub client. If you put in here in library manager search, you will find the first option by Nick. And the second one is the Arduino JSON. And also in this time, we are using the option by Benoit. As you can see, in this project, we are only using these two libraries. And well, in the first part of our code, we include all the necessary libraries and also the file. And here we define the Wi-Fi credential and also define the device name from AWS and the MQTT broker host from AWS and the MQTT topics. You can change the name for to publish and subscribe. So, and here we define the publish interval time, the time zone you can define for your area local and the last time message was sent. And well, in this part of the code, we define all the certificates for our connection. Um, well, we create a client instance for MQTT. So here you can see four functions. And the first function is to connect to NTP server and set the time. The second one is to call by function for messaging receptions. 
the SRC connection for AWS and the last one is to publish a message. And of course we have our voice setup functions and our void loop. Alright, so in our first function we used to connect to NTP server and set a time. This is important to connect to AWS IoT Core. And in the second function message you receive, uh, we used to set up print our messages for our server monitor. And in the function connect to AWS, uh, first we define the Wi-Fi credentials and wait for Wi-Fi connections and then to connect to NTP server to set a time and also uh, set up all the certificates. Then connect to MQTT client to AWS IoT Core and if everything is okay, uh, we subscribe to MQTT topic. So in and in the last function publish message we generate a uh, random humidity and temperature values and also uh, we print for our server monitor these values and create a JSON document and serialize the JSON document and the last is to publish a message. All right, so that's all. I hope the video was helpful to you. If you like the content, you will help me a lot by subscribing to the channel. So thank you. Bye bye.